Hey everybody and welcome to the first blog post we've had in a while. I am not in Hawaii. I am wearing a Hawaiian dress because um, it's just a really hot day in upstate New York. So uh, yeah, and I'm a little bit shiny too. I, I promise that's not sweat. That is just... I need to put more powder on, I guess, I don't know. So um, here we are. So anyways, let's talk about a very affordable thing that you can add to your cabinet to help support your skin, and that is witch hazel. So witch hazel is something that I've been using for about like five months now as my toner, and I have really enjoyed it just for helping to do what I'm gonna tell you in a moment. So witch hazel I use as my toner. Toner is something that you use in between your cleanser. So you cleanse first, you cleanse your face, then you do your toner to close the pores and to take off any excess makeup. And then after that, you do your moisturizer. And you can do other things in between, I do for sure, but these are some basic things that you can do to support your skin. So I the reason that I like to use witch hazel as my toner is that it is natural. First of all, it's only one ingredient, right? So I really love that. And well, some of it has like a little bit, okay, so you have like some natural grain alcohol in some of these. Um, you know, it just depends on, I guess, what formulation you use. I've only ever used that one and I really just enjoyed it. So it depends on what you are looking to have, okay? And you definitely want to go for something that's organic if you have it, or you know, or, you know something that says just you know 100% natural. And look at the ingredients on it. Okay, look at the back of the product. Okay, like I just did. I just had to remind myself what exactly was in the one I was using. So that's what you want to do. Okay, and one thing and some things that it has in it okay so witch hazel is highly anti-inflammatory it has antioxidants in it so what does that mean to you that means that if you have inflammation it's going to help support your body's response to that inflammation if there is redness in your skin it's going to help it's going to help your body in support of that okay and studies show this is something straight from healthline.com studies show that a topically applied witch hazel can effectively reduce inflammation and help soothe your skin so that's something that's really exciting and then it also may help soothe the reddening of the skin caused by injury so this is just a plant you know base product that's going to help your skin and it's very cheap you can get it anywhere um, you know but you do want to get a good quality one because otherwise what's the point so what's the point, right? And studies show it may help acne, admit, but you know what? Like there's, uh, everybody's body is so different. You really wanna give yourself three months with a product before you really see whether or not it's working, okay? So that's just that. Now something that I love about witch hazel is that it just helps to, as I said, close the pores, but also soothe the skin. And I just love how, especially nowadays, I'm putting on a lot of makeup, sunscreen, on top, underneath my makeup. I'm just feeling like it takes off any excess that was left by my cleanser, okay? So, and also just, again, helps to close the pores after that. So just something to really, you know, try this summer to help soothe your skin as you're out and about, or, you know, if you're in wintertime, oh my goodness, your skin needs even more soothing, I think. So depending on where you are. So anyways, that is that. I hope that this is helpful to somebody and it's just something that, again, is something to try, all right? And if you have essential oils, which, you know, that's something that I am definitely going to use, I add essential oils to my toners. So just saying that's awesome but you want to make sure they're good quality which there's more posts coming on that all right talk to you later bye